Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Hello, everyone. To Buhari, be sincere with Ogoni. Clean up. Niger Delta Group tells Buhari, Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Today, Niger Delta Group is giving it back to Buhari, making him understand that the land of Ogoni needs clean up. Don't forget, Ogoni land is one of the land that has been oil spillage for a very long time now. Buhari has been playing politics with it. This is where majority of the money of, of Nigeria comes from. Yet, the villagers cannot go to the farm. Why? Oil spillage on the ground, which has spoiled the soil. They can't go and fish. Why? The rivers has been covered with crude oil, which has blocked the air space for which fish can breed. Fishes in the river are dead. Let's go to the news and get all the details. The United Niger Delta Energy Development Secretary Strategy has asked the President Major General Muhammad Buhari to be sincere in the clean up of Ogoni land. The group also alleged that the President did not give a fair share to the region in the distribution of COVID-19 stimulus to the states in the region. Yes, it's true. They didn't give to anybody in the South-South. Secretary General of On The Boss, Mr. Tony Uretu, in a statement at the end of the group third quarter annual gathering meeting on Friday said, the stimulus package that was given to the region was not commensurate with what the region was contributing to the national table. He said the region was not satisfied that Bohamod led, led government has not shown sincerity in the remediation of the region, adding that the region was determined to get the federal government to honor the cleanup of Ogoni land and the agreements made of their lands and waters. He said the presidency has not exhibited equality and fairness by not giving COVID-19 stimulus fund to states of the Niger Delta commensurate to the region, being the source of the majority of the fund that the nation treasury has. The region is determined to get the federal government of Nigeria to harbor its end of the bargain before the end of 2020, including the cleanup of Ogoni land and more robust funding of the marital university of the region. The full installation of, com of commercial of the current abandoned major dry dock, biggest in Africa, and the region and the compensation of the sanitization of our lands and waters that has been destroyed by the exploration of oil. The statement noted that the president directives to the inter-management committee set up to clean up, clean out years ago, corruption in the prime federal investigation agency in the region has not made this to be possible. We employ the president not to weaver or be deceived and not to deceive us regarding the cleaning of this place. The corruption in NDDC is a current doing of what Buhari's administration are saying. There is so much scheme saying that money is being brought to the region, but nothing. The people of this region are suffering. Carry out investigation and find out yourself. Don't just send messages and giving out statements. Investigate. Take time to find out if this is really happening and everything is being done accordingly. We have noted series of series of corruption, blackmailing, and to mention but a few, all the systematic abandonment by the federal government of the people of our region. We also welcome the new chief of staff to the president, and we pray that he will work with President Muhammadu Buhari as his as his ears to um, to enumerate to him some of the places of Nigeria that have been abandoned, so that Buhari's administration can be referred to that it indeed it has been fair and honest this is a statement from the niger delta group to the person of muhammad buhari that his administration should be sincere through open regarding the cleanup of this region we know that the land of ogoni especially some years ago if you can remember precisely was covered by oil spillage 
see nigeria i think there is a there is serious force serious forces that is making nigerians not to do the right thing now you went to people's land to exploit crude oil right you are not even giving them the the equivalent or near equivalent of what they are doing do you know that children in ogoni land are supposed to be going to school on scholarship but go to ogoni land the primary schools is not even worthy the government primary schools is nothing to write home about there is no, even no decks on the table for the children to write. There is no proper road. I'm telling you, no proper road, no proper good water. Even They still go to the river to fish. They are still living in 1972. I'm telling you, it's as bad as that. Yet, Buhari's government, when he came, part of the scheme and the scam they came to nigerians with you know also um you know enticing the niger delta region people was that they were going to clean up the region of ogoni the ogoni land is what has been it has become a political a political statement that buhari's government not just buhari's government even the government before buhari's government has not done anything good luck jonathan is from that region and he had the opportunity to clean up that ogoni land to make it to sanitize that place if that is what he did during his reign the people will continue to pray him as long as they lived but anyway that's a story for another day but harry also came in the back of that telling the people that good luck jonathan your brother did not do this but i will do it for you so those were part of the promises he made to nigerians to people of niger delta and they believed him i myself i was deceived so please don't think it's only is only uh, is only uh, 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 the, the the people of Ogoni, you know. 2015, my dear, uh, is as if there was more to it. So I would tell people we must vote APC. If I'm tired of PDP, PDP is not doing anything for this country. Blah 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 blah. My dear, PDP is worse than APC. Worse. Can you see some of the pictures? Can you see for yourself? The people cannot. People here are still suffering. Women still tie wrapper on their chest. Children still run about naked going to bed without food yet from their very under their soil the land that god has given to them is what where the country treasury is from is it not a shame to mention but if you think about it there is more to it than beneath the eyes there is something that is making the people not to enjoy what is duly theirs buari came promising these people that he was going to clean up the soil the people believed him they put their hearts to it and they believed him hence you saw that the, the niger delta uh boys that came up the other time trying to blow a pipeline all in attention and a bid to get the federal government attention the federal government of nigeria fought them and guess what they won the battle that's to tell you that they don't want to fight boko haram for if they want to really fight boko haram they will defeat them but because they have a stake in it they are the ones sending boko haram yes it's been alleged that this federal government has a serious hand, especially those in government. That's why the thing is, do you know now that the, that the, that the B-Boys, they've also gotten a helicopter. I never had done a story for another day. Yes, they've gotten that to mention but a few, a lot of things and injustice that is being done in Nigeria by the Buharis-led administration. A lot of evil going on in broad daylight. They are the ones, you know, they are the ones trying to eliminate the Christians and the South so that they have an agenda and telling you they have an agenda and you can see it in clear table terms but has Buhari ever spoken before regarding the killing of book of, of these b-boys no he wasn't he wasn't speaking onto the u.s onto the world started saying boy what is happening boy what are you doing so that was when he started saying i condemn the activity what activity are you condemning what activity are you really condemning? I condemn the activity uh, where it's not a Nigerian style. Uh, you condemn the activity, but you're not doing anything about it. Look at small uh, Chad here. Chad here dealt with them. They started bleeding. Chad, Chad, yeah, Chad. He dealt with them. They started bleeding, but not the federal government of Nigeria because they don't want to touch them. They've promised them that... Uh, they will give them they will give them compensation of course they started fulfilling their promise sending them abroad for sending them abroad for training sending them abroad for schooling bringing them in the, in the government uh, uh, in the air force jets you know relocating them to the places where they have displaced people from how much how much more reward do they want again that's to tell you this is what is going on in broad daylight but harris administration deceived the south and made them to you know even seeing uh, what's his name with him uh, the person of professor Ichiba 
Nigerian job. The South believed that for once this was a good combination that will serve Nigeria and make Nigeria great. My people, now lie you worse than a uh, good luck Jonathan. In fact, if you give Nigerians the option, they want good luck Jonathan back home. That is how bad it is. So, how do you think? What do you think has really happened? They are saying to Buhari, up till now, the land of Ogoni has not been cleaned. Can they come and clean the land, the river, so that the people can continue with their life? It's bad enough you're not giving us anything. Even this palliative, nothing reached them. From the money or their money, we say federal government they say give the word, they're not giving palliative. Anyway, my people, what do you think? Don't forget to thumbs up for us, like and share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you and bye for now.